A very good morning and welcome to the new semester. The very first lecture I would like to start with my favorite PowerPoint slides. This slide shows the quote from Lord Calvin. It is when you can measure what you are speaking about and express it in numbers, you know something about it. And physics is all about knowing things. It means you have to know things, you have to measure them, you have to speak about them in terms of numbers. Then obviously, a few slides like this one, in which if you move from left to right, something is changing, and that is height of this person, which we measure in meters. You can also call it as length being measured in meters. In this slide, something else is changing, yet another physical quantity, which is the weight of this lady on the left to this lady on the right. This picture is showing difference in temperature. The person is feeling really hot and then the other person is feeling somewhat relaxed. This one is to show how the electric current flows through conductors when you apply an external voltage. Then obviously, if you are given a choice to pick one of these articles, one which is a lion made out of stone, carved out of stone, and a cute teddy bear made out of fur and fiber, which one you would like to pick? Obviously, if you're not daring enough, you would pick a cute teddy bear. But size of these two is almost same. Whereas the amount of substance is different in these two. Then this is, I guess, the second last one. In these two pictures, the contrast is of luminous intensity, illuminous intensity, illuminity. The light in picture A is not there. It means absence of light. Almost a few shade is coming from the door only, whereas the room on the second picture is lit up. Then there is a concept of time. And this course will be related to these two slides only. We will be dealing with light, we will be dealing with time. Okay? So if you start from this picture, this is length, mass, temperature, electric current, amount of substance, luminous intensity, and time. Then these seven physical quantities makes all fundamental physical quantities. Length, mass, time, electric current, temperature, amount of substance, and luminous intensity. And as I always say, जो भी आपके आसपास है physical reality, physical world आप जैसे बोलते हैं, वो या तो इन सात quantities में से कोई एक चीज है, या इन सात quantities का कोई एक नियत मिश्रण है. Why I'm saying that there is a definite mixture? Because you know, if this is a physical quantity, for example, let's say velocity, you know it is just length upon time, distance upon time. It is a definite mixture of these fundamental quantities. Anything which you can perceive, you can feel, you can see around yourself. All mixture of these physical quantities. In last semester, we were discussing about light, nature of light. Then we also discussed about some applied phenomena like lasers and uh, optical fiber as well. This semester is going to be 50% theoretical and 50% uh, applied. So let's begin. The very first thing is about motion. How you can describe motion. So motion is described by saying that if you have an object and with respect to time, the object changes its position like this. So this was an animation of duration, let's say 1.5 seconds. You can see that within 1.5 seconds, this word motion is changing its position. It means there is motion. Yet another thing is relative motion. Although in this slide, the word motion was changing its position, but with respect to what? That we don't know. Whereas in this one, the word motion is changing its position with respect to the word relative. And you see that relative was fixed and motion was changing its position. So there is a difference between relative motion and motion. And the very first unit which we are going to deal with, which is on relativistic mechanics, deals with this only. There are many quantities which are relative. Like I am sitting right over here. I am not moving. But somebody on the moon would find me moving because Earth is moving. 
So these are very classical examples of relative motion and we would see a few in this slide as well. So for example, if you are on a train, you are just making a ball or throwing a ball up and down, you would see only vertical motion. Train ke andar hai, hamare liye to ball upar niche jayegi. Lekin jo bahar se is cheez ko dekh raha hoga, he would feel that the ball has gone up, taken a parabolic path and then gone down as well. So for me, if I was just inside the train, it was just an up-down motion like this. But for somebody else who was watching from outside, it was not just an up-down motion. It was a horizontal displacement as well. That's the question. If I am moving with respect to you or you are moving with respect to me, will the physics change? How your physics will relate to my physics, how we can define physical laws, if I am moving with respect to you or you are moving with respect to me. It means how to deal with basic laws of physics if we, like me and you, are in relative motion. Okay? The very first answer was given by Galileo. He said that if you are moving with respect to something which is called as frame of reference, we will define it in our future classes or in this lecture itself in a few moments. If there is relative motion with constant velocity, then your physics and my physics will remain same. How? Well, this is what we are going to deal with this in whole semester. For example, now we will say, we will try to understand what is inertial frame of reference. But before that, we have to understand what is frame of reference. And for that, what I want is, I want you to come on, I want you to come on pen and paper and to understand what is frame of reference and what is inertial frame of reference. So let me just switch from presentation mode to pen and paper mode. Fine. So, abhi tak humne kuch cheezen sikhi, jaise physical quantities are relative. How? Okay, let us see that. For example, you have this, uh, oops, I hope this one is visible, or should I decrease the brightness? I should, definitely. Let me just give a moment, okay. <clears throat> So you have this rod, let's say this is PQ, okay. you have another rod XY, and you have yet another rod AB. And in these three, the length is relatively smaller and bigger. For example, if I hide xy, you would say that pq is in length larger than ab. Yeah, ab is smaller than pq. Vahin, agar keval ab ko hata diya jai, to aap kahenge pq is smaller than xy. So, yaha se, what you can say is, length is relative. Okay, the very first thing in physical quantity, we started with length and you find that length is relative. Point number one. Let us move on to some other thing. For example, this is a river. Hmm? And in between a river, there is, let's say, a temple. Okay, this is, a, I'm very sorry for my bad drawing. And... So this is a river, right? You are standing on this bank and your friend is standing over here. For you, this is your right hand and this is your left hand. Okay, let me just show you. You are facing this side. Whereas for your friend, this one will be his left hand and this will be his right hand. Okay. So 
so the light right and the left actually changes if you change position that means in this picture what you found is that position is relative okay position is relative okay so if i say just pick up your right hand so you would find me that this is my right hand but it looks as if it is left okay so position is relative and then we have some other thing also we also have seen that motion is relative length is relative position is relative time is also relative how my time relates to your time this is a nearly 9:54 in the morning in india but it would be nearly 8:50 pm of the previous day in usa so time is relative motion is relative i would say everything every physical quantity is relative except one thing and from there comes the concept of what is called as special theory of relativity how we can define physics same for you and for me when we are in relative motion